Hi guys, welcome back to Medico Pharma lecture. Today we are going to start a very basic and fundamental chapter in pharmacology that is root of drug administration. So we know that when a drug is introduced or administered to a body, the body will show some biological response, right? Okay, and we also know that drugs are available in various forms like solid, liquid and gaseous form, which is available in market in various doses form so that they can be administered easily. As for example, tablet, which is a solid doses form, capsule, that is also a solid doses form, injection, that is a liquid doses form, syrups or emulsions or elixirs, those are liquid doses form. So these all cannot be introduced into body in same manner, right? Okay, so for that we apply various methods and ways to administer this doses form into our body. Okay, so these all methods and ways and techniques are collectively called as root of drug administration, right? So uh, now we will define them as the various technique or methods by which a drug is introduced into the body are collectively called as root of drug administration. Okay, so now we'll classify roots of drug administration. There are various ways to classify root of drug administration. Some of reference book prefer to classify into two categories, some follow three categories. So I am following three categories because it is easy to understand. Okay, so as per this classification, we have three categories like local root, systemic root, and parenterals. So local root is further classified into topical root, uh, then deep tissue, and atrial supply. Okay. Now this topical root is further classified into various subtypes okay as for example mouth and pharynx nasal root which is given to nose then vaginal root urethral root aural root which is given to ear and ophthalmic root which is given to eye now we'll discuss about systemic root the first one is oral root, second one sublingual and buccal root, third one rectal root, fourth one cutaneous root and fifth one inhalation. Okay. Now coming to parenterals, they are further classified into intravenous that is IV, intramuscular I am subcutaneous SC these three are most important then we have intradermal then intra articular sorry intra arterial then intra articular then intra peritoneal intra cardiac intraspinal or intrathecal then intravitreal or intravitreal 
then intra cavernous and lastly injection for brain okay now we'll discuss about local route so when a drug is applied on a organ or some part of body that is called a site of application so naturally the drug will move towards blood circulation the process is called drug absorption but if we can apply a drug in such a way that there will be no or very less drug absorption then the response will be seen at the site of application or area around it why because the drug will be accumulated over there right so this type of routes are collectively called as local route of drug administration now we'll define local route as when a drug response is needed in certain specific organs like skin mouth ear eye etc then the drug is administered in certain ways so that the drug will remain in that area or organ for longer duration and hence shows its response over there so this type of routes are collectively called as local root of drug administration right okay so there is one more definition for those who need a small definition so that is the drugs applied on body surface or mucous membrane of organ in the form of lotion syrup cream ointment powder etc to produce local action are collectively called as local route of drug administration okay so now if you'll see the local route have no or minimal systemic drug absorption right as a result the drug will not circulate throughout the body and hence systemic side effects are absent or negligible so this is the benefit of this local route similarly the response will be very rapid why it is happening because the drug is directly injected to organ and hence organ is not going to wait for the drug supply because drug is already available similarly the high drug concentration will be there at site or area of drug application so due to this the onset of action will be very fast so the response will be also quick okay now we'll see examples of local route so first one is topical route under that we have mouth and pharynx where we have pants mouthwash gargle lozenges etc now nasal route so this comes under systemic as well as local route third one is vaginal route so any drug given to vagina is coming under vaginal route so examples are pastries vaginal tablet inserts doses vaginal cream etc now next one is 
urethral root okay so the drug is administered in urethra okay for local action so this is mainly for uti okay uh, that is urinary tract infection so example for this is antibiotics or antimicrobial agents okay now coming to ophthalmic root so any drug which is given into eye will come under ophthalmic root okay as for example eye drops eye ointment etc for ophthalmics onset of action is very fast and you should always remember a note that the drug has to be completely sterile and tonicity has to be maintained okay so what is sterility so sterility means the drug should be 100% free from microorganism okay so this is done mainly to prevent ocular infection okay or eye infection now tonicity so tonicity has to be maintained to avoid irritation we will discuss this in parenteral scene details okay now the last one is aural root so any drug which is given to ear will come under aural root examples are ear drops ear ointments okay now the second one is deep tissue so drugs are applied by using syringe and needles okay into certain deep tissue for local action where systemic drug absorption is very less or slow and drug will remain in that area to show the response that is called as deep tissue as for example hydrocortisone acetate injection so this injection is given intra articularly in joints so uh, in the deep tissue exactly now the last one is atrial supply so this is mainly for angiographic purpose so what is angiography so angiography is a x-ray based medical imaging technique okay so this is done by introducing a specific dye or cream to visualize the inside or lumen of blood vessels and organs of body especially in arteries vein and heart chambers with this we have come to the end thanks for watching us kindly subscribe us and press the bell icon to know the new updates our next video will be on systemic root thank you thank you very much